Hello everyone, this is Professor J. Kim. As you have just watched it, we're going to create the light raised text effect using Adobe After Effects today. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. Okay, so first please download these two files from the link I provided in my description. One is the uh, sound clip mp3 file, another one is the, um, the, the, the font, the typeface we're going to use. You don't have to use this font, but um, this is the one I'm using. So open the After Effects and we're going to create a new composition first. The size is going to be a 1920 by 1080 pixels. And then the duration, I'm going to set to a 5 second duration. 5 seconds. If you have the different time set, just to hit the number 5 and period and return. That's 5 seconds. Okay, now, once you have a new composition like this, hold down the control key or right click and then I click somewhere in this area, in this uh, gray area. And we're going to create new solid background. Uh, I'm not going to change anything. This white background is okay. Say okay. Then, in your effect panel, effects here, uh, please type um, gradient ramp. Gradient ramp, this one. So drag and drop. Then in your effects control panels, you're going to see the options. We're going to change the, uh, this ramp shape uh, from the linear to radial. And then I'm going to change the, the start ramp, ramp, uh, ramp the, the center point. So um, place your mouse cursor, hover your mouse cursor with the 0, 0, Y coordinates. And keep pressing and scroll to the right. And center. Just like that. Okay. Then let me swap the colors. So we have a black and white. And then um, the end of ramp, this Y coordinates. I'm going to make it bigger, just like that. It doesn't have to be just like this. Okay, like this. And now, let me change this white color to something a little uh, different. So this is a white color in the middle. I'm going to set to blue, very dark blue. About this. Yeah, very dark. Yeah, it's dark blue. Now, we're going to create another new text layer. So I'll place your mouse cursor somewhere here. Control click or right click. New. Text. And the font, you're gonna, you can use the font I'm using. Uh, I'm going to type Star Wars. Okay. You may choose a different typeface. It really doesn't matter. But I think that this one matches to the, uh, this, uh, the animation. And then my type size is 140 point. And I control the um, the other uh, tracking, little further, little close, something like this. Close now, and then scroll down. I'm gonna align center, 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 like this. So it looks good. Star Wars. Then, in your Star Wars, the text layer here, reveal the hidden menu. You're gonna see that animate button. Click here and choose tracking. Okay, so by choosing this one, we can control the other tracking, the other space between the other letters. I mean the um, entire word length. So uh, make sure your play indica uh, time indicator is on zero second. You're gonna see that tracking amount is a zero. Insert the keyframe by clicking the stopwatch first on zero second. And then we're going to make the kind of three second. So uh, place your time indicator on three second mark. You see that three second here. And then tracking amount. I'm going to apply like a 30. Yep, 30 is okay. So watch this. Let me hit the space bar so I can preview it. So it's good. It's a kind of a cinematic title. But uh, I want to control the speed. So select the, um, your, the second keyframe, hold down the control or right click on the keyframe, keyframe assistant, easy is in. Uh, I want to have some more control. Uh, let me click on this, the, uh, the graph editor, and I'm going to pull this bar 
to the left a little bit more. So watch. It's much smoother. It's spreading, but I'm getting slower and smoother. So I like this one better. So let me collapse this layer. So that is done. Place the other view of the time indicator back to zero again. This time, select your text layer and duplicate it. Command D or Control D if you're a PC user. Okay, then in your effects panel, this time find a CC light burst. CC light burst. So choose that. Drag and drop to this a second, the top text layer. You see that? The reason I keep that is the original one is let me hide and see what happens. See, it is fuzzy. So uh, I keep this DM, the original text uh, layer on the bottom. And then once you have that, once you apply that to the CC light burst, now check your effect controls panel on top. You will see that center point. I'm gonna move this X center point, this one. So let me keep pressing my mouse button on the number and drag left. So I place the my center point here. So I'm here, maybe here. Okay, looks good. Now insert the keyframe by clicking this center the uh, stopwatch. Okay, now your top layers are still selected. Hit the U key so we can reveal the option. See that center here? Now I'm gonna move my time indicator to three second mark. You see the other X center point, that's the one we adjusted. This time I'm gonna move it to the right until somewhere here. So this will happen, watch. Letters spreading, light rays moving. See? Okay. Then this time then we're going to uh, change the ray length. So on top. So at the very beginning, we don't want to see the uh, light ray. So on zero second mark here, change your ray length to zero. Nothing. And insert the keyframe. Okay, now you're the um, um, second, the other, the text layer on top, collapse, and hit the U key. Now you're going to see the ray length. This time, I'm going to move my time indicator up to 20 frame second mark here. 20 frame, as you can see here. Then I'm going to change my ray length dramatically higher, 200. See, isn't it cool already? It's more like a movie title. Okay, so it looks good. Now, let's change the answer opacity value. So collapse the top layer. This time, hit the T key, T, and then at the very beginning, I don't want to have that thing, so I'm um, let me control the other, yeah, this is 0%, 100% uh, alpha value down to zero. And insert the keyframe by clicking this. Now move your time indicator to 20 frame second mark. This time, 100. So meaning we start with nothing and the light ray is coming in smoothly. See? So we're going to keep this light length up to two second and 10 frame seconds. See that here? And insert another keyframe. So that is 100%. This time, move your time indicator to three second mark and it's supposed to be gone. Zero second mark. So you got the ideas? It's kind of a fading in, spreading, and done. So it is okay. But uh, when it has the, the light rays like this, I want to make it even brighter than that. So this time, select the other original text layer, the, the, the second one. 
uh, the bottom text layer, this one. Command D, duplicate it. So it is uh, placed in the middle. Now, now in your effect and preset panels, this time uh, type fast box blur, this one. Drag and drop to this new text layer and we're going to change the mode. Uh, if you do not see this mode, uh, you see the source name here. So control click or right click, columns, you see the mode. So um, please the end, activate this mode. We're going to choose to add. So it's going to be brighter. And then check now that your effect controls panel. I'm going to apply the, the uh, blur value maybe on 5. See, it is like a kind of little bit shining. Okay, but um, uh, still at the very beginning, we want to have the, just a sharp Star Wars text only. So what I'm going to do is select the layer and hit the T key, change the opacity value on zero second mark down to zero and insert the keyframe by clicking the stopwatch. Now move your time indicator to 20 frame second mark, 100. So watch, sharp text, little bit blurry thing, blurring, and right light ray. So same way, on 2 second and 10 frame second mark, 210 here, I'm going to set another keyframe on that mark, still 100% and move your time indicator this time to three second mark, this time down to zero. So um, starting and the ending is the same, sharp text. So just like that, that's pretty cool. Okay, now uh, in order to make that kind of uh, uh, stars things, we're gonna do is select the bottom layer, white solid, then we're going to create another new layer, new, another solid, just white. So make sure this new white solid layer is located right on top of the bottom layer. So a second layer from the bottom. In your effect process panel, this time, please try uh, Starburst. You see the CC Starburst? drag and drop to this new white solid. You're going to see that. Then in your effect controls panel, you see the other size. I'm going to make it smaller, like a 20. And then grid spacing. Just a little bit, not too much. We can, we can control it anytime. Okay. And then you see that scatter. Let me increase it. Uh, maybe about this. It should be good. And also, the animation speed, one is, is kind of too fast. So I tested multiple times. So I found that 0 0.05, that's the kind of a best speed I found. So it's going to be animating just like this. Okay. And the last one, let's have the sound effect. Go to File, Import, File, import this cinematic uh, whoosh.mp3 file. Just a drag and drop to your timeline to the very bottom. Place it at the very beginning. Okay, so now I'm going to hit the space bar to render it, to preview it. It's going to take some time, so I'm going to fast forward. Yes, it's done. Watch. Isn't it cool? Okay. So uh, it is done. So let me save this file. Save as. I'm going to save as Star Wars. And my folder. And let me export it. Go to File. Export. Add to Render Queue. And let me... Check the my destination, output 2, 
the location is going to be my folder. I'm going to save it as Star Wars. It's going to be Star Wars.mp4. And render. It is processing. It's going to be pretty quick. Okay, now let me check my folder. File. See? Star Wars.mp4. That's nice. And then uh, the stars behind. It's kind of animating very slowly. Star Wars. So watch. Start from the uh, really sharp and fading in. Light rays animating and spreading out and sharp again. And then um, during that time, meanwhile, the stars behind are still animating. Okay, so I hope you, uh, you enjoy this video and you can use this for your future project. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Shoo, shoo, shoo.